when does a thought experiment become a loaded question? Um, Vic Mackey and I are having a to and fro concerning the red button. Um, and I'm holding the opinion that he's asking me or his permutation of the red button is a loaded question. Uh, I don't agree with the metaphors that he's using. And then when I say that I don't agree, um, it you know you reach that usual stalemate that you get to when you can't really frame a position in such a way that people can agree with uh, agree on enough to actually discuss something. Um, the red button has as many permutations as you want. Euthanasia, mass euthanasia, or just individual euthanasia. Big issue. Um, I'm willing to discuss it. I won't be, as I see it, frog-marched into a position that I don't agree with and have to defend it or have to respond to a misrepresentation of my position. Um, now, one must be careful about misrepresentation because it's not always deliberate. The other person might actually feel that this is ultimately what you're saying. They may actually feel that, and there's no point in getting angry. One of the things that I get sort of parodied for is extreme pig-headedness, um, and I'm guilty of that. But you have to understand what pig-headedness might be in this context. It might simply be that you're trying to be um, as relentless or as forbearing, I guess, as possible to make sure that your the question that you're willing to respond to is a question that is, in your opinion, relevant to your ethical position. Um, strong nerves are necessary when you're discussing ethical issues of this magnitude, if you ask me. Um, otherwise, your emotions will take uh, take over, and you get um, well, you get addendum, don't you? Or Ned Flanders. Uh, everything's horrible because my emotions say so, or everything is wonderful because my emotions say so. Um, if you don't have self-discipline in discussions like this, then it makes it very difficult to discuss things. Now, I'm not accusing anyone of anything, uh, I, although I suppose Ad Endem might disagree, and so might Ned Flanders. But I'm not saying that Vic Mackey, I'm not saying you're doing this. What I'm saying is I am sort of being relentless and not conceding a point that you want me to concede because I don't want to misrepresent myself. That's all. Um, and I will be extremely stubborn if I believe that I'm being put into a position where I have to agree to a misrepresentation of my position there. Um, and a misrepresentation that might not even be hostile. It may, it may be actually a misunderstanding of what I'm trying to say. It's difficult to articulate issues like this. Um, especially given <laughs> what's at stake, apparently. Now, here's my red button scenario addressed directly to you, Vic Mackey. If you had a red button that would instantly euthanize painlessly and without any advanced warning everyone who was um, in a cost-benefit analysis living a life that wasn't worth living, would you press that button? You won't euthanize the entire human race. You will simply euthanize everybody who is, as they say, in extremis, who is beyond the point of endurance. Would you press that button? Yes or no? Do you resent that question? I can see why someone might. Feel free to not answer it. You have a red button that will instantly euthanize everybody and every being who, that is living a life that is, in their own estimation, not worth living. There's a thought experiment for you. <laughs>